Greetings and salutations, my name is GW608. Today I am playing chicken. I just fell down from up there somewhere, and I'm slowly healing, so it's alright, I guess. You might be asking, what is chicken? I don't see any cars coming. No, chicken is, um, um, kind of, uh, it's a game that's box, alright. Imagine Victor Frankenstein sat down and made Minecraft instead of Notch. That's chicken. Alright. And his dev team uh, included Dr. Moreau. Anyway, we're playing chicken. Now we just started a brand new adventure game. And we're in the little tutorial area. And it's can tell me how to do all this stuff. Like I can double tap shift to roll. And I have the graphics tuned down a bit because my computer doesn't want to record and do graphics at the same time, or play the game at the same time. Amazing. Alright, got this egg. We're gonna break this egg. Obtain this beam's life shaper relic to unlock the creature reviving. That is a life shaper relic. And I have a bunch of chicken parts. I also have the ability to make a new creature. And I'm gonna pick up these logs, because logs are handy. And there's also this mushroom over here that I want. Okay. There we go. Oh no, don't punch it again. Because this little mushroom is a little light, so I don't need a torch. Anyway. Um, this is an early access game, and this is why I love it. going to take a second here to figure out what's going on. This is my, um, I guess, edit area. And that is my creature's heart. I can press that button there. And I have started creating a creature. And these chicken pieces I have are, are uh, pieces I can give it to, to, uh, to make, or to use to make the chicken. Let's see, and I have a, a hair. Uh, needs a couple wings. Although I really like a symmetry mode for this game. And there's a comb on his back. What are we going to name him? Oh, come on, game. Yeah, my game and OBS are not playing well together. We're going to name him Donald. For no particular reason. Donald the Cyclops chicken thing. Okay. I can pet Donald, and I can feed Donald, and I can use Q to command Donald to break down this wall. There's all types of stuff you can do. In fact, once we get on the other side of this wall, we will uh, see some creatures in the wild. And we'll also need to find a place to call home. Yes, that's very nice, Donald. Good work. Oh, creatures are indispensable tools. Reward him with some food. And its tab is inventory. And there's some food there. And I'm going to feed the creature. All right. Yeah, I know I cooked the bread. And I can press B. And I can collect Donald into my inventory type thing. And eventually I'll be able to hold up to one, two, three, four, eight, eight creatures. Now it's just me and Donald. And I have room to hold one more bonded creature. In my pocket, I guess. And I really love the runes in this little temple. Okay. And away we go. Now, a while back I did a stream with Jace Machine and Lenscap. And that was a fun excitement. I've been playing with Jace on off camera. Oh, Wild Chicken Classic isn't happy. He had angry eyebrows. Okay. Bonding management. Spawn. Okay, I'm doing this to get rid of all the uh, tutorial stuff. Hold shift to sprint. And tap shift or double tap shift I found to uh, roll. Alright, Donald. We're gonna put you away for right now. Giraffes are evil. 
I found this. Because when I was playing with Jace, a draft just up and murdered me. I'm not going to say whether or not it was provoked. A trick and strider? Lovely elephant legs you have. I would like those elephant legs. Although I'd really like to find a place to, uh, to camp for the night. Or the night to set up camp. And I'd really like to be close to uh, this temple thing. Because uh, if Bob should ever fall in battle or starvation or whatever, I can come to this temple thing and revive him. So let's see, where do I want to set up? I'd also like to find some squash. Oh look, squash. Uh, squash and melons or and grass seem to be the mainstays of uh, growable foods and whatnot. Grass not for me, but for the critters. Let's see. Ah, this little clearing here seems to be a good spot. For our initial base. And, all right, so let's head down closer to the water and see what's down this way. Ooh, reeds. We're going to need reeds. Grab a reed. Grab another reed. Because reeds, we can, you're using reeds, we can make a nest. And a nest we can use to uh, breed animals. But that is going to be a little ways from now, because we need to get set up grabbing all these melons. Oh, a carrot. We're going to need uh, logs and wood and all that good stuff. But we'll get there when we get there. Hmm. I know, I'm just collecting everything. I am a uh, video game kleptomaniac. I'm hoarder. I'm one of those guys that has 999 potions at the end when you fight the final boss. I know. It's terrible. Aloe. You can use aloe to make bandages with, along with sheep's bodies. Yes, you use a sheep's body to make a bandage. And there's a big update coming from this game for graphics. So it'll graphically look more and what is that? Wild spiky cow. There's a dog face. Well, actually, there's two dog faces and horns, and he looks angry. And we're going to move this way a little further. Although I would want to come back and maybe try to tame that spiky cow. Because it has lots of nice animal parts. Let's see. I'm grabbing these melons. Probably need to eat one of them. I also need some rocks and logs. Uh, those... Yeah, these are the gray rocks. The silica rocks. Uh, another chicken thing over there. Alright, so let's actually get started surviving. Uh, Donald, where are you? I have work for you to do. Break that rock. And he's gonna chew on it a bit. Oh, he's not entirely happy, but that's alright. We'll fix that soon enough. Come on. I need a stronger creature to... This goes faster. Or make Donald stronger. Let's feed Donald. At the top left is his stats, also beneath his head. Let's pet him. E, while uh, not having a weapon or not having food in your hand, will uh, pet him. E, with food in your hand, will feed him. Let's see, and Tab is also the. Uh, the. Um, creation menu. Did I just turn all... I turned all my carrots into uh, carrot seeds. I'm going to turn all the grass into carrot seeds. That not right. And we're going to grab... Uh, is it melon seeds? Reed seeds. I'll turn all the reeds into seeds. And... Ten, ten squash seeds. All right, logs. Thank you. 
good boy. And let's see. While I'm working, or while actually while I'm pretending to work, looking for where I want to set up, you get hidden and break that rock. I could set up close to those rocks, maybe a little cover and protection, but I want it closer to the beach. Hmm. You done yet? Oh, you're hungry. Uh, here. I have a melon. I have another melon. There you go. Nope. There you go. Okay. Got stuck on... Oh, that isn't a pick up rock. That's one that needs to be broken. Alright, Donald, we're gonna hide you away for a minute. And create more hogs. I don't have my render distance set up very high because I have an aging machine. If you'd like to help me not have an aging machine anymore, go check out my Patreon. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Actually, this looks like a fairly nice spot for... to uh, sit down roots. Got some trees going, got some rocks. Have this wall here. Is this a cave? I uh, have a bit where I can. No, I don't clip through, I just see through it. Okay. This is an early access game. Although I highly recommend picking it up, because even in its current state, it's real fun. Alright, I've decided this little outcropping here shall be home. So let's put down our. Campfire. And let's build a workstation. With the workstation, I can do things, build more things like a, a hoe and a chest. And we're going to need both of these things. Uh, the chest, we're going to store. Well, we're going to store all types of stuff. I need the coconut to change into coconut seeds. And I ran out of logs. Let's save the bread for right now. We're going to live on uh, what we got. Melon and squash. Carrots and grass seeds. Okay. Start farming. So, to farm, you take the hoe, you click to till some ground. Two, four, or six, three, one, two, three, four, five. And I want to do the similar operation here. One, two, three, four, five. Are you doing five? Oh, you'll see, you'll see. Hold on. One. Two, three, four. That is because I have found you can actually cram two plants on a, uh, or at least two plants on a, uh, I think probably get three on that one, on a uh, plot. No, don't punch the plant. And I want squash in this row. No, you have to line it up just so. Come on. Well, I can actually probably get four on these now that I'm doing it like this. We're just going to do a straight line. Why are you doing a straight line? It's easier to harvest just running up like that. And grass. I keep trying to press E to plant. I don't know why. Okay. And in a few days, they should grow. And let's see... Let me show you how trees work as well. You can make... Palm trees. I like palm trees. Except I'm going to have a designated area for the growing and collection of palm trees. Because sometimes they leave these weird uh, stumps that I haven't quite figured out to get rid of. Of course, I've mostly been playing in multiplayer. It might be a... Uh, Multiplayer thing that you can't get rid of them properly and 
as a not host anyway. Right here. Here's a good spot. And boom, tree done. You can probably get two of these per thing as well. And it looks like our time for today is over. So next time we will Well, I guess say get started surviving. We've already started surviving. We're gonna continue surviving. I've been JW608. This has been Chicken. I'll take you cats later.